Okay, we're going to mix up some oxalic acid today. And this is oxalic acid. It's wood bleach. You can see above the word bleach, oxalic acid. And we use this for treating for varroa mites in late October or early November. Here I have a my uh, <clears throat> plastic bag teared at zero and then I mixed it up I did the math and if we use 0.175 it's one there we go point one point zero one seven five pounds of oxalic acid is you mix that with one to one at uh, one cup of one to one sugar water and that would be probably enough to treat maybe five hives with 50 milliliters of the mixed oxalic acid. And we're going to mix up our oxalic acid. Here, we're making some one to one sugar water. There's our quarter cup measuring. We'll start with. I'm just going to go with heaping. Better to have it too sugary than not sugary enough. Two of those. Two of these. And we're heaping so I could just give it a whisker more. I'm trying to get this up to our one cup line. Just gonna guess a little bit, give her a little bit more sugar. And just a tiny bit, just enough to clean out our cup there. That should bring us up to one cup. And just stir that in. Here we have the oxalic acid mixed with one cup of one to one sugar water. Take the contents. This is warm water in here. I put in here warm water because we want all this. I mean, I'm wearing plastic gloves. We're dealing with acid. Plastic container, or I'm sorry, glass Pyrex. And we're just gonna mix this up to liquefy. It. And then this we will put this. We'll get into our 50 milliliter syringe. Okay, we've got our oxalic acid mixed up. Got one cup of oxalic acid solution. And here we have our syringe. This is goes up to 60 milliliter. We are going to put in 50 milliliters. We'll cover that veterinary use only because it's for beekeepers. That's what we're doing here today. And this will be enough for one colony. That is a dosage, five milliliters. And in each seam of bees, you're gonna put in uh, five milliliters so look at the plunger you're only going that far per seam so it's good to practice this with just some water to see if you can lay a bead about 10 inches long so there you go then five milliliters that's in one seam of bees so got to think about it a little bit of practice okay and we're going to take this out to our bee yard so we're going to have it in a separate container and then of course whenever you do use a separate container mark what's in it so we don't have any accidents and always mark the container for our safety. So we'll take our oxalic acid, put it in our container, and then when we go to the bee yard, we can draw it off with our syringe. Next step, the bee yard. Okay, I'm out on this, uh, my hive out in the bee yard. This is a single high hive. I got comb honey off this high. So I have another deep super of honey that I'm going to put on, but I was saving it just for this video.
it'll be easier just to go in when it's one deep. So today I'm going to take my oxalic acid mixture that I have here and labeled it oxalic acid and we're going to suck up 50 milliliters. That is the dose for one colony. 50 milliliters. here it's about 40 40 degrees out and these are quick start pellets I really like them except when it's windy out it's they're hard to get going I got two pellets going so I really I want a lot of smoke because it's probably they are Gonna be cranky. They really smoke like crazy. Put them in my smoker. Voila. All right. Give them a second to read the smoke there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bees in there. Try to smoke them down. I do have rubber gloves on for the acid. And bees always love it when you pry off the lid. There, that's a good population. Try to get these down a little bit if we can. Go to seams. And we have our syringe here. Drip, drip. This is called the dribble method. We're putting it right on the bees. They'll be in contact with each other. They'll rub each other and the mites that are on them. That's it. That is the dribble method. I'll come back later and put on that second deep of honey and I will winterize them that's all there is to do the dribble method of oxalic acid thanks for watching